YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Alright folks, it is Friday, it is Zer's day, and Zer is located, well, before I get shot there, Zer is located over on Nessus. You want to fly into Watcher's Grave and uh, make your way up to the Treasure Barge, and let's go see what new DLC exotics uh, Zer has. What I mean is DLC as well, previous DLCs, and... No previous DLCs. Wow. Okay, it's all um, year one stuff for the most part and Forsaken. Well, Forsaken is considered a DLC, I guess. And we'll see what random roles he has. If you're new to the channel, Zer does sell random roles. All right, first off, we have the Exotic Gangram. This will show you what you have and what you don't have. Buy it if you need something. If it's an armor piece, buy it on a character that you need that armor piece on. Uh, if you have everything aside from quest exotics, you will get a random piece of armor with a random stat roll. Alright, the Black Talon. This thing is a lot of fun. A heavy void sword. Uh, the main perk is Crow's Wing. Um, I'm on PC, but I'm using a scuff controller here, so R2. Press, fire a heavy projectile attack. Heavy attacks are stronger with full energy. Attacks partially bypass elemental shields. I run into these and gambit a lot, and they certainly like to kill me. I believe he has sold these recently, I think. Okay, let's check the stat rolls on all these things here. All right, we have the Mechaneers, Trick Sleeves for the Hunter, Dune Marchers for the uh, Titan, and the Claws Ahamkara for the Warlock. All right, we have a 63 stat roll on the Mechaneers Trick Sleeves with an emphasis on discipline. So you can get your grenades back a little quicker, a little resilience, a little mobility. And uh, let's take a look at the perks if you know. Spring loaded mounting increases sidearm ready and reload speed. While you're critically wounded, swapping to a sidearm increases its damage. So it might come in handy when the uh, Traveler's Chosen hits. I don't know. We'll see how that sidearm pans out. All right, and this one is solar too in terms of putting mods in it. The Dune Marchers, we have a 61 stat roll with an emphasis on resilience and also some strength and just a little bit of mobility there too. Main perk is Linear Actuators, uh, excuse my voice, increases sprint speed. Sprinting builds up a static charge. After melee attacking an enemy, that charge will chain damage to nearby enemies. Claws Ahamkara for the Warlock, a 62 stat roll. We've got an emphasis on recovery. I always like to have recovery on my uh, Warlock. I am a Warlock main, so I can make fun of myself. Uh, strength of 15, and those are pretty much the two main uh, stats where you get an emphasis on. Well, simply, you gain two additional melee charges. I never use these things, and these things are arc. All right, you've got your Five of Swords card if you'd like to customize your Nightfall experience with a, with a burn or a singe, and also some disadvantages. And you've got your uh, Invitations of the Nine if you've never completed all of them. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. And by the way, if you're looking for a discount on video games, uh, I have an affiliate link to G2A.com. Go in there, uh, find the game that you're looking to buy. It's like an eBay site for gaming. Uh, look up the seller. Make sure you check their feedback so that they're not a scammer or uh, whatever. And uh, you can get games pretty cheap there. So check it out. I have an affiliate link in the description. All right, guys. Leave me a hashtag. Made it to the end if you did make it to the end. And do me a favor, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream, usually and always on YouTube. And that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir.